you like sushi? Let me know in a comment, yes or no, because in this game, I'll be diving into the ocean and collecting fish to serve in my sushi restaurant. Hi, I'm Mad Morph, and this is Dave the Diver. There is a lot going on in this game. It's getting absolutely rave reviews on Steam. It's part harpoon fishing game and part restaurant management sim. The amount of content in this is very surprising. There is a lot of meat to this dish, so let's jump in and take a look together. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button for more interesting and cozy playthroughs and first looks at games you've never heard of. And spear that like button to let YouTube know that you want to see more videos like this one and to support the channel. You can find me on Instagram and you can find my podcast of bedtime stories in the link below this video. Go ahead and slip into that wetsuit and let's dive in together to Dave the Diver. Oh, oh Dave, you got here quickly. Mm. Always told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. Where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. I don't have a good feeling about this. A sushi bar by the blue hole. The blue hole is either a fantastic or terrible name for a sushi place. I'm not quite sure. Dive. Here we go. Prologue. A sushi bar by the blue hole. Green humphead parrot fish. Is that a real fish? Imagine we discover you and name you Humphead. Disrespectful. Nice form. <laughs> Alright, how about try stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With shift, you can move quickly. Speed uses up ex oxygen consumption. Okay. It's quite pretty, actually. They look quite pretty there, actually. Good, look, it's like your moves, your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survival knife on a small fish. Wait, are there sharks in this? I'm scared of sharks. Well done, smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first and then... Well, looks like you need some practice. Ooh, satisfying. Ah, so I can't go directly up. We have to be sort of here. That's actually really satisfying. They've made it really exciting. That should get you back on track. Come back up to the boat. Nice quick little tutorial. Okay, and now you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure, that soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh, it's just the best. Ah, well listen up, I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He's a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It's right here that I started a restaurant with my friends that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh caught fish in the blue hole. Fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. <laughs> Don't you think people will go nuts for it? I'm already craving it. I bet. Why don't you join in on this awesome venture? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant's all ready. All you need to do is dive and get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? I can eat as much sushi as I want. Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Oh, I can't wait to check it out. Sushi restaurant next to Blue Hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat. And off we go to sushi. I love sushi. I just had sushi a couple of days ago. Probably get it like once most weeks, to be honest. 
Hey, Bancho, are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished. You. Uh, you are the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. You like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it, it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just as mediocre as I expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people have only tasted more accessible fish just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Me, who only ever orders salmon. An earthquake? The interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, looks like we'll have to delay the opening. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair cost through doing business. In this state? <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? I have something I just caught. Three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish. Oh, and the restaurant's going to open only in the evening. Oh, and that decreased sales. You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision just as the warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You'll need to give me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Seems Bancho's really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I haven't seen Bancho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought that up. Anyway, we need more ingredients. Go catch seven fish. Alright. The incident, you say? How mysterious. A sea goldie. Special guests might visit when Bancho's sushi bar becomes famous. What? Make a hundred gold, catch seven fish. Okay. Oh. I let that one live. All right, we've got some yellow tang. Sounds like a drink. Coma. I'm gonna try and get like different types. Drink one of these ones. And then can I get them with a knife too? Oh, you stinky, sneaky little fish. Um, what if I go deeper? Bigger fish. Whoa. Oh, okay, a trigger fish. Didn't quite get hooked. Maybe I need to upgrade my hook. A seahorse. It feels so silly to hit it with a tarpoon. Okay, good. I can't get it for you. Oh, what's that? Space. Wah. Can't get away from me. What's this? Escape pod? What's that? A shock bang stick. Oh. What is this, an angelfish? What does this do? Does it like... 
Oh, new content. Okay. Use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Check surroundings first. The cooling process takes some time. How do I know how deep I can go? Oh, look. Critical depth. That's probably not going to be deeper than that, then. Oh! <gasps> running out of air. I saw some O2 over there. Let's see if we can get there. Uh-oh. What a scary thing. Phew. Should probably get my last fish here. Bum 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 bum. Surprise, little fish. I don't know how much money I've made. Like, I don't make money down here. I think I have to, uh... Go... Back up. So it seems like when I hit them first, they come through as dead. But I wonder if I stun them and then get them. If it, like, helps. this is like. I've never been diving. I've done like a little bit of casual snorkeling in some shallows, but I'm like pretty scared of water, so. Anyone ever done any scuba? Let me know in a comment. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. Oh, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Head to the sushi bar. Prepare the ingredients. Okay, so here's what we got. Biggest fish. To the fish tank. Wrap up your day and get ready at sushi. You can only dive once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before dinner. Okay. Let's see how this goes. How are preparations coming along? I think we're almost set. That's good. It is to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You need to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I don't understand. Cobra told me there'd be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. Who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer. What? Open the ingredients. Check your fish, crops, sauces, and all other materials you have. That's all you need to know. Okay. I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier. Okay. The norimaki. Ah. So we can, ooh, sushi, cardinal fish sushi. Making me hungry. So if we add the yellow tang sushi, what's the most expensive sushi I have? Long fin batfish. All right, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things more convenient. Let me repeat. Only food in the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out. Use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Okay. Expensive fish on the menu. Sushi is pretty pricey. So let me see what happens if we enhance control. Doesn't do anything. Maybe I don't have any enhancements yet. Okay, so we have four items on the menu. Man, how long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Have you perhaps 
poured green tea before. No, only soft drinks. I'll tell you how. Pour the right amount. Oh. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay, pay more. Rancho's green tea is quite something. That tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat? Demanding as always. Oh, I'm actually going to have to like run back and forth and uh, serve. Come over to where I am and take his food. Dash when serving food, you shift to move more quickly, but watch your stamina. Huh. He sent the package last week. What? Let me check on that. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted. The food can't be reused. We'll have to throw it out. That's such a waste. Rancho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Alright. Just eat it. Everything looks about ready. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. And open. The best sushi join in town, town, town. Ah, welcome, welcome. What can I get you? Some green tea, it seems. Let me just fill that up for you. You're very welcome. Let me take your order there. Oh, order up. Order is ready. I've got some green tea for you. Relax, you're getting stressed for no reason. And that green tea is going to sort you right out. All right, who wanted uh, the, uh, uh, that thing? Be right with you. Oh, I'm tired. Sushi up. Oh, I gotta clean the plates too, apparently. What is this? How do I do it faster? Bloody hell. That's for you. That's for you. Why is it not? I have to hit them both at the same time. This is gonna get stressful. Just don't ask for green tea. Okay. I will patiently wait. It's for you. Look at that. Service. Open your mouth. I'll throw it straight down there. How about that? If anyway, it could have been any quicker. There you go. <gasps> wait. I'm out of certain menu stuff, right? How do I get back to the menu? One. Yes, I'm out of these. So we have to change because I don't have any more ingredients. Put those in there. Okay. Oh, it's the end of the day. Bancho sushi closed. Ah, oh, yes, charts. Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. All right. <laughs> Random advice that pops up on TikTok occasionally. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. I could get into this, just diving. Oh. <gasps> Tentacle. Kraken. Wonder if I'll have to 
to retrieve the packages. I hope there's no spooky sea monsters when I'm down there. I have a fear of them. Ellie. Either man has been diving around here. I think so. And I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. Any case, do something for me. Shouldn't you tell me who you are? I'm Ellie. I studied biology. I've come out to investigate reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? What do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of your blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, fine by me. A reward? I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying. You could ask more nicely. Please hurry. New content smartphone. Check your phone to access various types of content. Phone. To-do list. Calendar. Mail. Attack of the mutant monster. Octopola. Do you want to be rich? Do you want to buy nice cars, wear fancy clothes? Click now. Oh. Guess we just got a virus. Uh, this is Diver City, the wreck. 0641979. Can I just put any number in? No. It's the mini games. No games on my phone. Here we go. Down below into the blue hole. I feel like I also have no urge to scuba, honestly. Like, if somebody straight up offered me a trip, all expenses paid, scuba ring, I think I'd be like, um, no, no thank you. I don't mess with the ocean. I hope the ocean don't mess with me in return. I see a cooking pot there, and some other loot. Wood. Whoa, hey. Relax, you. Get it. Ah. Oil. Get the oil. <laughs> Nearly ate me. Catch some dories. Feels bad. Look at this chunky mother. Sizier. If I keep doing it, will I get you? Eventually? I think you might be too big for me old hook here. Hmm. Can I still grab you? You're so chunky. Sit here. Long distance underwater scooter. What are these? Ah, these are what I needed to collect. How do I use that scooter, though? Boost. Oh, cool. I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. I'm running out of air. Use that scooter. So wait, can I not come up and get air and then go back down? I'm gonna have to um, be a little more quick. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy going any deeper. 
I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. People who live in glass houses. What's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business. And now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Season 2 of Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Alright, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. That is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. So we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this Master Duff. Not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him right, Dave. Enter the blue hole, bring back rope and iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Oh. And... Oh. I was hoping I'd get to see myself jump off and sploosh on in. But it's sort of an interesting thing of being afraid of the water, but it's also very peaceful. I can appreciate the peace of underwater. And I enjoy it in media and movies and such. I don't think we can get those. What do we have here? There's the rope. Won't grab the urchins. We'll need to get some more fish, though. For tonight's dinner. Oh, come on. Quite intense. Oh, good miss. Ooh, what's this up here? Some more rope and some oxygen. May as well. Can I get that? This boy here? Nope. What about with a knife? Oh. We need more fish. Whoa, how did that miss? some iron as well, didn't I? Let's see if we can find some. What's in the box? The shock bang stick. Can I have the iron as well? Oh, okay. We can, like, mine with that. Copper ore. See some air around there. Much better run this afternoon, making up for this morning. I think we got one fish. Take that, you punk. If you like sushi, let me know in a comment what you like and recommend, and maybe I'll give it a go, because I always just get the salmon, to be honest. Salmon and uh, salmon on rice and salmon and avocado. That's all I really bother with. Oh, 
There's a naughty one. Ow. Ow. <gasps> if you exceed your weight limit, you slow down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you'll be able to carry any more. Press escape to organize. Ah, I'm full of fish. Well then, guess we'll head up. What this reminds me of, um, ah, oh, what was that game? The Dome, where we were in the dome, and you go down and mine, and have to come back up whilst monsters attack your dome. Dome Keeper. That was a fun one, played that for a while. You actually brought them back? I guess I expected too little of you. This should do for now. I'll give you a reward. Okay, what's the reward, lady? At my number. Is that the reward or oh no, it's the golden. Okay. Well, to think you'd actually managed to bring it back. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Seems I've underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make a basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's weapon shop on your phone. It's well optimized, only 42 megabytes, you could say. Weapon shop app. Craft. What's this? The King Charles Cavalier Spaniel? Of course it is. I can tell. Equip weapon. With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. I guess. One more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. <laughs> All right. You collected a hundred gold. Great job. Should be enough to repair what's broken. Give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. Really hope the customers keep coming. Okay. Back to sushi we go. Quite a good little dive there, I think. So, let's take a look at the menu. And put on... What have I got? Enhancements. Commence enhancing. Will make everyone much happier. Doubles happiness. So maybe I should enhance what I have that's quite expensive. So this is 15 and 20, and if I enhance that, it'll be 40. Makes people happier. Yeah, chef. on the menu then, won't we? Is it on the menu? Wait. You enhanced it, but it's level two and I can't add it to the menu? Maybe it uses the ingredients to enhance it. Uh, and then I have to go and get that same fish next time. It might make sense to add stuff to the menu. Make sure we have enough. 
These are all one of ones. What do I have that would be more than that? Six of one, a bunch of Koma sushi. Wait. And I was thinking maybe we enhance the other stuff. Ah, ingredients used for enhancement will disappear. Well, I didn't read that bit, but maybe we should enhance some stuff. Ah, so I need three to do it. I see. Right, and then let's add that one to the menu. No, don't discard. Put on the menu. Huh? Well, I'll add it afterwards. I don't know, I'm getting confused there. It's open. Brum, pum, 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 pum. You guys ever work in a restaurant? It must be so exhausting. Like a busy restaurant and serving tables. I feel for you. Uh, does anyone want any green tea? Uh, whilst we wait. Poor, 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 release. That's for you. Now, here comes the plane. Open up. You want tea? Ah, uh, wait. I'll get you in a second. Here you go. There's the tea. more stuff on the menu. Bum ba da bum. Okay. Went through all that stuff so quick. Here you go, darling. you. This is for you. Done. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Good. Monday. Month 10. Are you Dave by any chance? No. Yeah, what is it, sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People civilization. The Sea People civilization? I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? Yeah. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> the Sea People civilization lives in legends. They're said to have occupied this... Oh, okay. They worshipped fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. Mm, that's all about all there is. Everyone thinks it's a myth, nothing more. But proof they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh. And this is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it was no from no known civilization. From a what? From a no known sim no known known civilization. A gnome civilization? Listen, let's move on. It's dated to around 1500 years ago. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. That is interesting. What business does that have with me? 
Well, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out. He won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My assistant told me the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we could help you. We'll gladly do so. We don't have time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bancho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. I suppose you have a point. I'll help. Well, isn't that lucky? Of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit for free. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. I Diver. Oscar winner I Diver is the app. Let me tell you how to use iDiver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Okay. Upgrade the diving suit, so we can go even deeper. Once you've got money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit, as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. You never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. Thanks. Traces of the Sea People. Atlantis. Gonna find them more. Back down we go. Find the Sea People artifact. At around 70 meters. In between getting fish for tonight's dinner, of course. May as well take myself down ammo. Oh, a gun. Poison harpoon tip. Rejected metal album names. If I want to serve people poison, it's caught with a poison harpoon. So I can't get ammo yet because I don't have a gun yet, I guess. Hey. A lionfish. That harpoon's too big for that little fish, we'd absolutely split it in two. She got turmeric. Let's get deeper before we run out of oxygen. Let's see if we can find some oxygen down here. We are now approaching a depth of 70 meters. What's that? Oh, Dave, I think that's the one. Come back to the boat safely. Whoa. Oh my god, it's an eyeball. Oh my lord. What was that? to go back to the boat right away. Could also just get this first. <gasps> A sharp Japanese sword. Just gonna grab this O2 so we can actually get up. the loot. 
you're overweight. You don't want to drop anything. You can do it. Keep going, Dave. 50 meters. Swim. Swim. Uh-oh. meters approaching 30 meters oh running out of air though oh no uh oh <laughs> may actually have to drop something okay drop drop that drop that what's weighing me down by so much the big fish is quite heavy Maybe drop the dead lionfish there. <gasps> Still too heavy. Oh, that's such a heavy fish, though. How much do I need to drop? Oh, quite a bit. Okay. Well, I guess I won't drop that one. It's that or death, Dave. 15 meters, six, just, oh my gosh. You brought it out safely. It seems to be in very good condition, almost as if it was stored somewhere till recently. Interesting. This may be the find of the century, even. All right, Dave. Let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the Sea People civilization. I thought I'd only be helping you once. <laughs> of course. Say no more. Put our restaurant at the top of the list of affiliates. Mm, that won't be hard to do. I have a very lucky feeling about this. Tracking the sea people. I'm a good diver, I think. Hello. Dave, while you're out at sea, the repairs were completed. Hello. Let's head to the restaurant. I hope it looks really nice now. Mm. Wow, it's looking very nice. <laughs> it doesn't matter how delicious the food is, the restaurant can't be a mess. <laughs> if you want to change the interior, you can. Wow. But, as Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of the sea people are found here, customers will come, but this area is kind of remote. We need a way to advertise. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Have you tried social media app named Cookster? Mm. You mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. Mm. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. TikTok.com slash atmadmorph for all gaming recommendations and clips. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. Mm. Even so, isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Mancho? Mm. You have a point. Mm. Making an account simple. Mm. Register and make the hashtag Banco Sushi. Mancho Sushi, even. Mm. Not as complicated as I expected. Mm. New customers happy with your food will follow. So, now satisfied customers are going to turn into social media likes. I'm curious about interior and what I can do. Ah, so we can unlock different looks. I like this oriental modern. Apply. Nice. Clean. For today's menu. Level, no, level two fish there, so that's going to make people even happier. And a level one that we have three of. I think we're good to open, right? Or do you want me to look at the Cookster app? Okay. 
give it a give it a like just like you should on this video if you've made it this far hit that like subscribe if you haven't basically just tells youtube first of all that you want to see more videos like this not ne even necessarily by me just that you want to see more like this and more by me and also helps the video get seen by other people All right, are we good? Things are looking good. If you... Food with a high taste score will increase customer satisfaction. Oh, wait, is it because it's not nighttime? It's still the afternoon. Oh, so I leave and go diving again. All right. We only open at nighttime, silly. And sploosh. I'm gonna catch so many fish right now. You never seen someone catch so many fish. It's about to happen. Oh. Echo, what are you doing here? You want me to follow you? The dolphin? It's asking me to follow. Absolutely. Lead the way, my little friend. You're a very big dolphin. I mean, I'm, I'm a fully grown man, You and you are huge. You're a giant dolphin. To be honest. Let's say I'm, I'm trying to keep up with you. It's using a lot of oxygen to sprint this whole time. Uh-oh. <gasps> a pink dolphin caught in the net. I'll save your baby. There you go. That's so cute. You're welcome. Bye. It's left a gift. A red sniper blueprint. Oh wait, tab to change to that. Okay. Right, I should probably go back and get that O2 that I saw back there if there's not going to be any here. Scoot, scoot. Subnautica. Oh, used it all. Oh, just saw the boy there. Gonna poke his head out and have a nibble. Get some fragments. Can't get urchins yet. I'll try this gun. Um, catch some fish. Come here. Make me spam. Be grabbing the wood. I was trying to be careful about how much I'm picking up, but I'm sure we'll need all this stuff. Is that a baseball bat? Chop. Splat. What do we have here? An equipment upgrade. Okay, better get this. 
So not much fish. So sometimes I think we'll come down, catch a load of fish, and then we'll have other ones where we get um, mostly upgrades and stuff and explore a bit. Make sure we do a mix of things. Back to sushi. Back to the restaurant. Restaurant is the word that I feel like I never know how to spell. Unless I'm typing that into something that corrects the spelling for me, I'm never going to spell it right. Who's this? This is Bencho's sushi place, huh? B Miss Yoshi. I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Cookster. The name gave me pause, but to think it's really your place. No food, using never before seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. A taciturn but masculine chef. Do they mention me? No. Oh. In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. Well, there's nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day, training myself. My goodness, that's the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion. That's what got you booted from the hotel. You're talking about that again. That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. How long will you continue treating customers that way? To keep making that terrible food? What do you mean, terrible? Whole roasted shark head's an excellent dish. Shark's been used in cuisine in both the West and the East, and in Korea it was used in ancestral rituals. Stop. You've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself whether it's fit for consumption. Then I can tell you why I came. I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. Hey, don't fish sharks, dude. Bancho, isn't this development a bit sudden? Dave, as a chef, this is a fight I can't back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Give me a white tip reef shark head and olive oil. Uh, you want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Yes, with your skills it should be easy. A harpoon's not likely to be enough. Take a good gun. Fighting a shark sounds dangerous and slightly unethical. Aren't they like endangered? Do you mean to say you'll stand by and watch while my pride is trampled? The white tip reef shark's found in the ocean far to the right. He wants me to get him a shark head? I'll ask Duff. Oh no, what a terrible mission. Sometimes special customers with a backstory will hear of the sushi bar and visit us. This is one of those celebrities it was talking about. So we have to research the dishes with the artisan's flame. An artisan's flame will be used to research new menus. Research completed. Wait, we get 50 gold per shark? Get me some sharks. Get them up out of there. Okay, so we've already filled the menu, so we can just open. I mean, you want that, but I don't have that. Like, I can't go out and get it now. Are you crazy? It's the evening. She's just gonna have to wait. Getting very good at pouring that, aren't I? Okay, the blue one is for you, Miss Lady. This one. What's this? You'll be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind and refill the wasabi before it runs out. 
How do I do that? W to... Ah, okay. Oh, sorry, here's your order. I love wasabi so much. Oh wait, menu's empty. No, don't enhance, put it on the menu. Clean up. I'm ready, Chef. I'm ready to grab it and throw it down my gullet. Come on. Come on, Chef. Perfect. What does time skip do? Oh. Didn't hold it all the way, but I'm guessing it just... It's a bar of time. I'm wondering if it skips the whole chapter, like the restaurant time, or if it just skips to the next customer. Hey Dave, I've got the luckiest news. What is it, Dr. Bacon? You look happy. I analyzed the artifacts you brought me, and a large amount of an unknown substance was detected. I think it must be iron compressed deep underwater, but it gives off a unique wavelength. When I had developed a radar to track those waves. Why is this news lucky? Haha, <laughs> being coy today, are we? This radar is bound to come in useful on your next expedition. What do you mean, my next expedition? Cobra forced me to go along. Mm, I was given a contract with your name on it. Cancellation charge for breaking the contract is over 20... What? What in the world are you two talking about? Oh, don't be so by the book. Check out the signal for me to test out the radar. A signal from the sea people. No. Trevely. gonna make one of those channels that's just pronouncing things. Trevely. Trevely. You know. I think we'd do alright. The joke being that I mispronounce most things. A triple axle. This wild horse can finish enemies with three bullets at close range. Well let's see if we can go get this shark then I guess. To the right they said. There's like a wreck down here. Get some fish while I'm at it, I guess. I'm gonna be very wary of the old oxygen. Let's change, let's try this. Oh my gosh. Hey, relax. I don't want to use my gun on you. Ah, stop. Let me live. And also, you die. Bloody too heavy. That's what you do with that one. Okay, well now I need to drop some things. Um, that thing is so heavy. There you go. <gasps> O2! Oh no. Oh, this is what happens. That's what you get for shark hunting. Find some O2, quick. Please! There. 
or not getting too deep okay it's spooky down here hope there's some oxygen somewhere might want to dump some fish honestly You'll only be able to res res re retrieve one item. Okay, the parrotfish, five fishies. Okay, I'm gonna need to upgrade our oxygen to like have longer exploration time, I guess. I'm being too greedy, I think. Aww. Dave, this giant blue hole looks infinitely more dangerous than any other place. <laughs> Always pay attention to your oxygen. My bad, but we're okay still. <laughs> Who's this? Hoppity Hop? Uh, do you know a lot about this giant blue hole? I'm not sure what to say to that. It's different every time. Yeah, that's it. It's the best place to collect Marinka. Uh, I could complete my collection in that place. <laughs> Wait, you met, like Pokemon? Marinka? What? Don't tell me you don't know the highly popular Ocean Life trading cards Marinka. Mm. How can you not have heard of the futuristic trading cards that utilize an AI recognition system that automatically corresponds to fish in real life? Um, I've never heard of them, but it sounds fun though. <sighs> you seem quite behind the times. Let me help you install the app. Mm. You do this, and you press here, you touch that. I had a friend, Dawn. Yeah. What do I do now? Mm. Amazing thing about these Marinka is... You don't really need to do anything special. Just catch a new fish, you get a card. Check the cards every now and then on the app and you're done. Okay, I guess I'll be able to easily see what fish I've caught. Oh, so it's like a compendium. I'm Sato. I'll give you my contact info. Hit me up if you have questions. Choo choo. Gotta catch them all. Get your marine cards. You'll get fancier cards for higher grade fish. Cool. It's the afternoon, so I guess I'll go back down. Try not to die this time. Sploom. Definitely want to upgrade my carry weight as well because even when I do start grabbing things, I seem to fill up very quickly. Okay, there's some oxygen. Let me leave that there for a second. And use a bit of time to catch a few fish for the dinner tonight. Sir. Sir. I think I have the blue tang upgraded, so let me grab a couple of those. Use this and move on. Is 
that's it. Fragment. Edible brown algae. Okay, stop dawdling, keep going. Lightning harpoon tip. signal. Okay, there's a thing. <gasps> there's a shark. Oh. Sorry, darling. As much as sharks terrify me, I still don't agree with them. They're killing. Hey! <laughs> Being mauled by a lionfish. some O2 right there. We're actually like pretty full weight wise but Can we get ya? No? Too big for my harpoon. Silver bowl. Oh wait, I should be trying to um, follow the signal still. Let's get both of these missions done actually. Okay, hang on, drop some stuff. Um, it's gonna... I guess I'll drop some of those. We don't really use the ore yet, so let's drop them for now. This is the place. Let's see. Signal from inside. There are letters I've never seen before written on the pillar. Hmm. If we had some tool of some sort, we could move aside this pile of rocks. I think it'd be best to talk this with over with Cobra. Voices. Have I heard something? or two. No. Back up. I found a place with a signal from the Sea People civilization. I can't hold back my academic first to check it out. I'm at an important symposium right now. I'm talking over with Cobra. Huh? Uh, let's get rid of rock piles. Use a bomb. Is it okay to detonate bombs underwater? When well, you talking about a rock pile somewhere deep below? I'm sure it'll be fine. I just put a little trust in the sea's regenerative power. Just trying to gloss over things again. There's an issue. The delivery ships haven't been arriving lately. I need to get a delivery from a bomb expert, I know. The ship's gone off the radar. I think it's sunk. If I could use the drone I ordered, we could retrieve the supplies. Could you go into the sea and retrieve drone materials? Drone materials? How am I supposed to find them in the ocean? It's huge. Delivery boxes are likely to have been carried by the ocean currents. Ah, look for a place with currents. 
Hi. So we're ready for another night at sushi, and we have the shark head. So if she's back again, we can serve that customer. What she's after. I wonder if I have to put it on the menu. I do. Okay. We'll serve the parrot fish. The level two yellowback. And then what do I have a bunch of? White tip reef shark sushi. Okay. Open up. Eat, drink, love. There she is. Coming right up, miss. Gotta get this to her straight away. Disgusting as usual. The look of it ruins my appetite. A promise is a promise. Bellissimo. How do you like it? It's good. It's tasty. I can taste the white tip reef shark fat inside the crispy whole roast. But it's not an overly cloying flavor. Is, is this ginger? The ginger scent mixes with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. Pardon me, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. The Book of Five Rings states that one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. Sharks look terrible on the outside. But they have robust meat and their head has a delicious taste. This whole roasted shark head brings out such traits to their maximum potential. I must admit it, it's good. You pass. Let me tell you why I'm here. This restaurant needs to hire people. I can help. What do you mean? Do you still mean to go it alone, Bancho? The place is already operating at full capacity. Things might be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope when even more customers come. I can't continue working alone, but it's not easy to find people I can trust. I'm Yoshi the Recruiter. That's what I do. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Voice crack. Employees. Hire employees to reduce the workload. Serve food or make cooking food faster. Staff. Hiring. Post a flyer. Cool. Very cool. Good. Okay, so the next day you can. Oh my god. I need to get to the other person quick. Ah, they're gonna leave. Oh, someone else is getting the shark head. All right. I guess I won't judge too much. Just internally. Which one's this for you? Come on, chef, you got this. Ha, 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 ha. Poor, 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 poor. Good. They want the shark head. Make sure we get it to that person early because they had the green tea, which means they pay more. Bronze. Nice. I think it's the end of the day, so I won't bother to change my menu. Sushi. Closed. Big day. Look at that. Wow. Wednesday. 
You haven't quit diving, have you? No. What is it this time? I'm doing some investigating for an important paper. I'm gonna need some help. <laughs> Get me three blue shells, three brown shells. Okay. Aren't you supposed to do this sort of thing yourself? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Writing a paper requires a ton of research and investigation. <laughs> what you're doing is only a very tiny part of it all. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> okay. Assisting Ellie. Maybe time to upgrade your equipment. Well, let's take a look. At what there is. Was it Eye Diver? Ah, yes. Air Tank. Give me that. I had enough of that, let me tell you. Give me some more, actually. Thank you very much. 400 for the next. Diving suit. Oh, extra weight. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. 325 for the next. We'll hold on to it for now. Good. That works for me. Let's check the old cookster. Instagram.com slash madmorph. If you want to see my pictures, and by pictures I mean gaming recommendations. Just drop some uh, likes on everyone's stuff, you know. For liking our thing. Oh, no. Taking my like away on that. Sorry. Can't support shark heads. I feel like I should get something for doing all this. The sushi here is nice. I don't like the strange guy serving it, though. Right. I see how it is. Music. You can change the music. Cool. Does it keep playing it? Oh no, you can just listen to it and then it goes back, so... Oh. Um... Okay. Let's try our new upgrades. Once more, into the breach. Dolphy, what are you doing? Dolphin Lundgren, what's up, babe? You need some help? Alright. Lead the way. When I was young, we were in America and we went on a boat and the dolphins were like swimming along the boat and in front of it and doing all of that shenanigan. And it was pretty magical. The pink dolphin. Pirates must have captured it illegally. Quick, get it loose. <gasps> hey, they're trying to shoot me. Risking it all for you, Pinky. Oh my god, they're actually, like, pulling you up. No! Come on! Oh. Got you. Say bye, dolphins. Give them a wave. A large gold bar. Nice. The genuine panic that I felt when we started to get close to the boat. Okay. Let's see if we see any packages or anything. Drone parts. Ah, 
are. These are the seashells, okay. I'm glad that they're marked like that. Escaped so much meat last time. Seems like a really good way to just prepare a bunch of sushi quickly. Okay. Unsettles me going down, down, down. Let's open this. Water scooter. You got one of the, them there water scooters? I really like this game so far. I can I can see how you could just get kind of like pretty lost with it and um, lose a whole day. Just enjoying it. <gasps> what is that thing? Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh! What a beast! I'm running out of air! I have to get you though, I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. Still too heavy! Maybe with my machine. Oh, the machine broke. I don't know why I did that. I just got tempted. <gasps> there. Phew. I realized I threw away a fish that was like rank three, but I thought it would be better to keep the new fish. For the Barracuda. Barracuda. Okay, back in we go. Why does it say I only got zero of three of the shells? I did pick them up. I didn't drop them, did I? I have to get three at once. He doesn't know how to use the seashells. I definitely need to upgrade my oxygen every time I have money because I'm so forgetful with that kind of stuff. I also sprint too much. Poisoned. Oh my god. Hitting a fish with a baseball bat is cold. Oh, what's that? What am I doing? What did you want me to do? So, I'll carry on. See if we can't 
can't find some air. Tells you that you're running out of air really quickly. Wait, what's that? I can't see. Ah. Oh, there's a call. There's a call. Ow. No. Leave me alone. Ah, use your gun. Fall. Close. People watching this like, air morph, your air, go up. Greedy bear, okay. Sushi time. Oh, Leo. Oh, I wasn't expecting an applicant so quickly. Add staff. Kyoka, you're hired. Alright. Add staff. Kitchen or dining. Add them to your kitchen to cook more quickly. Add to dining to serve more quickly. Yeah, dining seems like the right first move. You can train them as well. There they are. Hello, welcome. Let's work out today's menu. Let's see, got a bunch of these. And a whole bunch of this. Let's actually enhance this. Do we have to watch this every time we enhance something? But we already saw this, so eh? I can't skip. level two. Let's just do it again. I mean, I have so many of them. Okay. Level three. Blue Tang is now level three. That works for me. And everything else is level one. I have a bunch of this parrot fish sushi. Sushis. <laughs> we recognize that fish, so we'll enhance that a couple of times too. And then serve it. Okay. Let's see how this goes with some star to help us out. Nice. Okay. Suddenly so many more customers. Okay, blue for you. Red for Fred. Green all the way up the other end. To be sure, to be sure. Lots of people getting these little rolls. I liked ones like that. Gotta get it to this person who's been waiting a little minute. And straight for this one. Wasabi's running out. She's like, uh, can you let me do my job, please? Get the next one. There you go. People are getting impatient. Wasabi should last us. There you go. Not have enough wasabi. 
Good job, team. Oh, that's just the infinite thing they're ordering. Wait, is that because my menu is empty? Oh. I think I ran out of other ingredients. My bad. I was a little bit distracted on that run. Thanks for watching this first part of Dave the Diver. Let me know in a comment if you want to see more of this one, and perhaps we'll do a part two, depending on how this video is received. But otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed our time under the water together, and I will see you in the next one. There are some more videos on the screen right here if you want to click on one of those and go on another adventure with me right now. I will see you in the next one. Good night.